what is up guys welcome back to the channel where you're following along my journey as we mod and work on my nissan juke today is the day so we have the parts to put the transmission cooler on all right guys so as you know the cvts in these cars are pretty much trash for the most part if you don't take care of them now i have the automatic edition as you so remember it is an automatic so it has that lovely cvt now i'm not racing it i'm not running it hard this is my daily driver and so i need the transmission to last as long as possible so in order to do that i'm going to be doing a full transmission service on this because i don't know when the last time it was done honestly because when i bought the car it was at 69,000 miles and the Carfax and the owner or previous owner didn't have any records about when it was done. So I'm going to do a full service on it, swapping the fluids, swapping the filter, uh, swap or cleaning out the, um, the pan, and then as well as adding a transmission cooler to it. So it's a new beehive system and um, an intercooler system that we're going to mount here uh, in the front grill. Um, so we're going to do that. First time ever really taking apart this car. So like I said, it's just my journey, guys, and you are following along, so wish me luck. All right, all my parts have arrived, and I have my oil pan, so I know exactly how much fluid is coming out. They say you should be um, able to get five quarts out. Um, I'm going to be using Amosol oil instead of the Nissan Genuine oil, because from my research, this oil is a premium style oil and it works better with CVTs. Um, when you drain it, you should only be able to drain five quarts out of it at a time. Um, and so we're gonna do that. I've got my other parts here and uh, let's lay all this stuff out so you can see what I got. As here's all the parts. We got the oil, we have the beehive assembly um, gasket and the filter, which goes into the actual transmission system. We've got our cooler and hoses. So. Um, everything that we should need to do this entire job. Now, like I was saying, the Amosol oil here, this is supposed to be really good stuff. Um, from what I've researched on Juke forums, this stuff is almost like a repair agent. So the fluid that Nissan actually puts in it is super good, but this is more of a premium oil that's gonna actually prolong the CVT. So I got that instead. It's a little bit more pricey, but still for the longevity and the seriousness of the CVT not going out, we want to use some good stuff. Um, the Beehive assembly, uh, this here, it comes with the O-ring and it's got the ports on it to go in attached to the cooler. Uh, cooler, it came with these parts here. So you got your hose, you got some clamps, um, and you have the actual cooler itself, uh, as long as mounting pieces that will attach it to the radiator. Um, this is for the actual transmission um, pan. So it's got a little housing in it that comes out. This is like your screen. It comes with the filter. I think the filter is actually behind the beehive and then you have your gasket. So here's all the parts we're gonna be putting on the car and uh, let's get to working. It's got the car jacked up on these uh, wheel, block, wheel ramps here as well as I have these little blocks underneath the wheels to make sure I don't roll backwards or anything. So first step what we're going to do is drain the fluid. Um, as you can see here as we go up under, here is the transmission pan and we're going to undo this bolt right here. Let all the fluid drain out first before we do anything else because next step is getting this front bumper off. Um, we're going to take the clips off while that's draining. Take off this harness as well and to battery out of the car so that we can get down in there and we can remove the old beehive and put on the new beehive. There's the, the stock beehive. Um, so I'm thinking I just undo these bolts and it should come out. Um, 
I gotta undo these hoses, clip them off so that I don't have anything leaking out. And it should be just a simple swap. Just put that on, or put the new beehive on. Um, and then I'm gonna route the uh, new hoses going this way. They're gonna come off of the um, new beehive off through here, which will then come out through here and then mounted here so the new cooler I'm gonna mount up right here and should work pretty good uh, in the meantime let's leave that alone and we're gonna come and start working on the pan here I'm gonna start taking off these bolts they look like 10 millimeters maybe and drop the pan clean it out and put in the new uh, screen here all right guys the pan is off here is the old screen just got to get those bolts off and then I can get the new screen on um, and what I want to do is look inside of the old one see if there's any, like chunks or debris or something there's gonna be some in there I mean that's what a CVT is designed to do is catch that stuff so replacing that piece and then also with the pan itself I'm gonna clean out the pan um, there's two magnets in here I don't know if you can see but there is actually some debris on here little shavings little metal shavings all on here um, so what we want to do is clean that all off uh, so that way it can still continue to trap little metal shavings like that um, this oil is pretty dirty really dark um, so you can even see the little metal shavings on the corner there uh, so we're gonna clean this up spray it down get it nice and shiny and then put it all back in and that part of the job should be done finally got it loose there's four bolts on it one here one here one underneath there and one here and they are a super pain to get to because the battery bracket here is kind of in the way and then these hoses onto these coolant lines were a pain I ended up tucking it here and then capping it so it wouldn't spill out much um, I think it pretty much spilled out all the way <laughs> but anyway see if I can get this out now but there it is comparison of the new one to the old one it doesn't have the tubes that help the transmission fluid flow out into the cooler um, so yeah I'm gonna get this piece put on and then I'll be back with you guys uh, or before I go the tool I was using to uh, get this off was this here this swivel piece without this I would not have been able to do it I think I'm gonna end up purchasing one of those flex um, sockets because then that way it can like snake its way through there is a little filter in here um, and that's what is right what I'll be replacing with this so all right There we go. There's the filter. It looks pretty dirty. You can kind of see. Now I'm not sure. I'll have to do some more research to see how often this needs to be replaced. Um, hopefully not a lot because that was a pain to get to. the 
CVT loop it. We're going to be using this long funnel and it goes right into the dipstick here. Uh, you just pull this out. Now I've broken the clip on mine. There's usually a clip that's in here that stops it from uh, pulling out. You can see the little hook spot there where it used to be, uh, where it used to hook onto right here. Um, I didn't like that. That's kind of stupid that they put that on there, so I broke it off so that way you could pull it in and out as easily as that. Um, so we're going to add in our five quarts of CVT fluid of the Amazol, Amsoil um, directly into the dipstick hole, and we should be good to go. All finished up, got it put back together for the most part. Gonna get the pump bumper put on, but I want to test it, start it up, and make sure everything's working right. No leaks are happening. The cooler here is in place, mounted on with the brackets. It should be a perfect fitment for where I can get perfect access from the grill. Um, I will show you here. Uh, I did run into an issue. Let's see if you can see it. There it is. So the cooler's right there. Um, it's got the hoses. I had to use my own little hose clamp here because the other one flew away and I can't find it. <laughs> um, but there are the new inlet or outlet hosings and those go around and it loops through this little plastic piece. Uh, right here it comes out and that's where I have it connected. Um, I, like I said, it did run into an issue. These ports here are actually the coolant um, ports. So when I took the hose off, I lost a lot of coolant. Um, you can see it kind of trailed down through here. Uh, so my reservoir was quite literally empty. So top that off, should be good. And I actually ended up with six and a half quarts of oil that I needed. I only bought five. So I'm gonna go back and run and get us two more bottles finally made it back. I've been searching everywhere, high and low, for this dang transmission fluid. Fortunately, I was able to come through, got myself, got myself two bottles here. This stuff is damn near impossible to find outside of the internet. No one locally here sells this stuff, and I kind of knew that, um, but I figured, you know, I'd give it a try. You know, Napa Parts might have it, Car Quest might have it. No, they do not have transmission fluid. They have oils, but that's about it. Um, fortunately, uh, they have a part on the website where it says that there are local distributors. So I looked up one of the guys. He actually has some on hand, but he's out of town right now for a World of Wheels event. Fortunately, he was like, hey, I got you. Just Venmo me the money. I'll throw it, have my wife throw it on the porch and you can pick it up. So dude came in clutch. Shout out to Kurt. For, uh, hooking me up with the two bottles I needed. This is gonna work. I'm gonna throw this in the uh, in the juke and we'll be good to go. All right guys, that is it for me. It was a complete success. Transmission is good, no leaks, didn't overheat. Um, it smoothly went through the gears. Now I'm gonna get on the highway tomorrow, try to punch it a little bit, not too much. I wanna break in that nice new fluid, nice and easy. So I won't be going into sport mode for the next couple days. Um, but other than that, that was a full transmission uh, fluid swap and CVT cooler install, and it went amazing. So first real job on the car, in the bag. Thank you guys again for following this journey. Like I said, hey, we learning together, and it ended up being pretty cool. See you next time on the next mod and the next project. All right, peace.